Did you see the photo of the liberal white Looney Tunes doing their I'm so sorry shtick? These guys were wearing chains and shackles on their knees, crying and begging for forgiveness from the black community for America's racism against blacks. Their t-shirt said, I'm so sorry. As you can imagine, there were no positive comments about that photo. Not from either side. Well, as a compassionate conservative, I feel compelled to take action whenever I see suffering. And these sobbing, liberal, girly men obviously need some help. So let me help by reminding them that slavery was not just chains, guys. It was whips and chains. You seem to have forgotten that part. So tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to offer you the full use of my websites and all my subscribers. I'm going to do what I can to let the whole world see your penance. But you need to prove your sincerity. I will gladly post videos of you guys tied to the whipping post with blacks taking the whips to you. Are you really sorry? Then let's see the welts. And don't forget those four young black men who beat a white man to death with hammers. <laughs> oh, that has to be your fault. If you really want to do penance for your sin of being white, then I suggest you get four hammers right I'm so sorry on them, and then attend one of Sharpton's rallies and see if you can find some volunteers to give you guys the hammer treatment. Get it on video, and I'll post it. It's the least I can do. And then we will perform the ultimate I'm so sorry penance. You guys will all go to the auction block to be sold to the highest bidder and then taken away to work as white slaves in a faraway land. Since there's only one group that still practices that style of slavery, I suggest you learn to speak Arabic. Your sacrifice will be a noble one. Your selfless act of unwhiteness will ensure that you will be removed from the American gene pool. And trust me, that will definitely start to make things better. This is Wild Bill for America. Thanks for watching, and America, bless God, again.